not Halloween yet. Yeah. And it's snowing. Man, we're a long ways away from hang time right now. Park City, Utah. I think this will not be our last snowfall before we leave here. What is here. happening in the hot tub? Sounds good to me. We do get hot tubs here. I'm jumping into the hot tub. We're the cooks, and this is our boat, hang time. We've spent the last two years getting to know how to sail and having some great adventures along the way. The best is yet to come. Join us as we continue to explore the world on our floating home. So we've been off the boat for wearing Crocs. two and a half months, traveling to some amazing places in the U.S., having lots of fun. And uh, another couple of months to go. We are just waiting for our visas. Oh, does that feel good? Yeah. a bit. <laughs> so, uh, since we got back to the States, what, four months ago? What about you, Char? What was your favorite? My favorite is Park City. It's here with the snow. Just can't hey, look, beat it. It's snowing outside. Oh, some people might think the snow that sucks, but for us, since we live on a boat, we barely see snow, and it's amazing. Ruby loves the snow. What's your favorite thing, Ben? My favorite thing was going to the Grand Canyon because we rode mules like into the Grand Canyon, and you're like looking over a thousand foot cliff and the mules will like stand pretty much on the edge and just walk on the edge for some reason. It's pretty freaky, isn't it? Yeah. Ben and I were lucky enough to cinch a spot on the 10 and a half mile mule ride down the Bright Angel Trail through the canyon, along the Colorado River, and on to the iconic Phantom Ranch. <laughs> Is your mule scared or what, Ben? He's just farting away. Come on in. One mule per chain, one mule per chain. There's one, two, three bunk beds. We had a quiet afternoon to enjoy the solitude of the canyon and were fed a square meal before a good night's rest. The next morning, we were right back up the trail to reunite with the rest of the family. Can you walk? What? Are you sore? Yeah, you can barely walk. My other little cowboy wasn't quite tall enough for the trip this time. Any other places you really liked staying? Uh, yes. There's also the pool in Arizona. Even though it's super humid there and very hot, I kind of like the heat. But um, it's super nice because there's like a rock wall. We, we call there's their stories, we call them. And there's the, we, we always jump off the highest point, which is like 20 feet. We all, we all jump off the highest point, right? Uh, except for mom. She's uh, a bit afraid. I think my favorite part of the road trip was Lake Powell. Uh, we rented a boat for the day. I took off to see the area. They'd never been on Lake Powell before, so it was uh, totally new to us to be on a giant lake in the middle of a desert. It felt like the moon, a lot of red rock. It was a really sunny day that we went. Got to do some tubing in the super high canyons. Got really 
two or 300 feet tall, cruise the rest of the afternoon. So super, super fun. My favorite part, uh, I think so far, I really enjoyed New Mexico. Uh, I liked all of it. I enjoyed Santa Fe a lot, but uh, hands down, it was White Sands National Park. I've never seen a landscape like that. It was so dramatic, so vast, just so desolate and so cool. The color white was just blinding. Incredible, we stayed for sunset. And just a few days ago, they came out with the news that they actually found mm -hmm fossilized footprints at White Sand. They're over 10,000 years old, um, over a mile long. They run along what used to be a lake, and it's a mother carrying a child, and they can see from the footprints where she switched the child from hip to hip, and then a few spurts where the child actually walks on their own. That's wild. That's so cool. We did so many amazing things and visited so many special places while we were in the Southwest. A few other highlights that really stand out were the evening when we had a moose and her calf in our front yard, the hot air balloon ride that we took in Albuquerque, New Mexico, the beautiful fall hike and mountaintop picnic we enjoyed on my birthday. Cheers! Our whirlwind tour of Yellowstone Park and so many more. The southwestern U.S. is full of so many iconic landscapes, buttes, mesas, canyons and deserts. It was a perfect place to pass the time while we waited for our green cards to process. But as always, hang time and our future plans were lingering in the back of our minds. I do have to wait here. So, I got an email from uh, Ben, one of our crew members uh, that came on hang time last year, sailing down from Halifax down to Bermuda. And he let us know that the French Polynesia is now closed to boats, which is, insane because that's the main route uh, crossing the Pacific. Uh, it's a huge area that they cover and uh, we'd have to look at routes to get around it but I don't really think it's an option going that far south or it wasn't in the plans to go to Easter Island and across. So here we are again uh, nine months later where we were sitting in St. John wondering what we we're going to do. We we're going to move to Canada and uh, everything's back on the table again now. So. When you think you have a plan in place, um, you're ready to have it changed. And I think that is the sailing life. Yeah, so we don't really know where we're going to end up. But if any of you guys have any strong uh, suggestions, recommendations, ideas, please leave them in the comments below. Um, I'm sure we haven't thought of every option and we're always open to checking out someplace new. So we got news that um, Fearless is actually going to head through the Panama Canal and on to Panama and then up to the Sea of Cortez. Instead of selling their boat. What do you guys think? Are you like intrigued by that idea at all? Yeah, I kind of want to go with them. You do? Yeah. Why? Just because it would be fun. Did you hear they, um, you can go swimming with whale sharks in Mexico? I'm done. Yep, I'm done deal. Done. What about you, Char? What would you think about going? Uh, well, if there's whale sharks, you can count me in. You have to get your dive certificate first though. Okay. And also I'd be happy to see Fearless again. Probably have his birthday, and then we could give Gavin his go toy. Back to the boat. Well, his and he's nine years old, and I think that to get the dive circuit yeah. certificate, you need to be ten, mm -hmm. so then he can get the dive certificate. So could you could do, do it in Hawaii. You could probably do that in Aruba too, or Hawaii. Oh, what do you think, Bradley, of the idea? Uh, you love how plans always change. Uh, so it's a consideration right now, because we don't have much else besides uh, sticking around in the Caribbean and go to Bahamas, places we've already been to that are amazing. But uh, I think it'll be fun to see something new and exciting, something that tests our skills a little more in sailing and 
preps us for the South Pacific when it does reopen. So we would be in position. What do you guys think? You still like snow? It feels good, doesn't it, guys? Yeah. I kind of want to stay a little longer and uh, you know, hit the slopes a bit. Same do I. Me too. Yeah. Not me. Not <laughs> really. <laughs> okay, yeah. We're mutinying on you, Tease. Not me. We're going back to Hangtown. We're staying. Just for a little bit. It is pretty here though.